Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anjali and welcome to the last and special episode of 2020. I'm super happy that we are ending this 2020 on a special note. I talk a lot about growth through books. And to explore this fact more, I talk to fellow readers and bloggers and ask them what are their lessons from reading and from books. And some of them are happy to share their lessons with us all. But before we dive into their lessons, I want to ask you what you have learned from reading this year. And if you are looking to grow through books in 2021, then stay till the end and now let's dive in. Hello all. 2020 was a weird year and uh, I think it's only only because of COVID that I happened to read a great deal of books. A lot of non-fiction re- uh, books were read by me and uh, of course those were self-help books so they are bound to give me some set of lessons and I mean all the great lessons that I have learned this year the one was the one that actually stuck with me and it is whoever we are and whoever we want to become in our lives the prime responsibility would always rest with us of course that uh, in the process the process of our transformation is going to be affected by people around us or it could be influenced by people around us their opinions their actions their thoughts however the prime percentage of the contribution uh would always lie with you i mean whoever you want to become in your life you have the power to choose you have the power to change yourself you have the power to change things within and so make yourself a better version of yourself Hey everyone uh, this is Abdul from Read Travel Become and I'd like to thank Book XP for inviting me to this collaboration uh, talking about the thing that I learned by my reading in the year 2020 uh, we all know that the year 2020 has been an impactful year in many ways uh, I'd like to say I learned two little things uh, which might might seem trivial but they were very impactful in my life uh, by reading books I've learned these two things the first is uh, patience Uh, before 2020 i was in a state of continuous work continuous productivity chasing something or the other chasing work chasing work life balance everything but after suddenly this vacuum came up uh, this this vacuum filled up our lives i got a, i got a chance to really sit down at one place read reflect on a on a greater scale i'd say so the one thing i learned is patience i i i learned to be with myself i learned to sit down sit down at one place and you know contemplate about things and the next thing is because i read a lot of fiction books i developed something which is known as empathy uh, by reading a lot of fiction books i developed empathy for characters for fictional characters which got imbibed into my real life as well i started thinking for people i started uh, to think what would be what would the case be if i were in their shoes uh, i started to get that perspective uh so yeah these two things i think have uh, have had a major impact on my mind they are imprinted on my mind and uh, this way i think reading has really really helped me a lot hi i'm nitya so what has book has taught me in this 2020 i would say it has given me a value and purpose in my life It also taught me how to accept myself and the people around me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rossi and out of the many lessons that this year taught us and out of the many lessons I learned from different books, I want to share the one that really hit home and that really resonated with me. So I've always hated doing household chores or running errands or doing like you know Uh, my own work so like and once i read this book think like a monk by jay shetty wherein he mentioned about all these mundane things in our life that we have to do on a daily basis he quotes a quote by jane cowan and he says 
बिफोर एनलाइटमेंट चॉप वुड कैरी वाटर आफ्टर एनलाइटमेंट चॉप वुड कैरी वाटर नो मैटर हाउ मच वी ग्रो इन आर लाइफ और इन आर करियर ऑल दिस डेली रूटीन्स विल ऑलवेज बी देयर विद अस बट द मोर वी आर एनलाइटन द मोर वाइज वी आर द मोर मेच्योर वी आर द मोर वी एम्ब्रेस देम एंड द मोर वी नो द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ देम एंड द पीपल दैट दे दोज थिंग्स दैट यू शू डू इन आर लाइफ like a mother or our housemate and our sibling so and although i learned this lesson and it really made me think of how much important these things are i couldn't really apply it in my year of 2020 because i've always hated doing them but now on from 2021 onwards i really like you no know, really want to do my own things like you know like all the things that i really need to do thank you bye and have a good year happy new year Hi again. 2020 has been a transformative year of my life. I learned a lot, I grew a lot, I failed a lot of times. I have been through so many things in 2020 and I guess we all are. But there are few things that I learned from books this year. The number one thing is the world is beyond what we see. The world is beyond our intellectual logical perception. The world is much more than that and the life is much more deeper. then we see it and well pandemic has also made us look at life in a different way but books made me learn this thing that we are not what we see we are not what we perceive we are way more beyond that and maybe it is a result of reading spiritual books i have also learned that no matter if you have read hundreds of great self help books it does not matter until you implement it i read 5 am club in the beginning of this year to build a habit of morning routine and i failed i failed miserably i guess but yes i couldn't do it so it does not matter if you are reading some great books and you are not implementing it it does not matter and also you don't have to implement everything like i said always and i read some good amount of fiction this year which helped me understand the depths of our own emotions which helped me understand the creative aspect of literature and a lot more emotions in a very different way and i'm looking forward to read some good fiction in 2021 so if you read good fiction then do drop in your favorite recommendation so i'm going to try them in 2021 and i'm super happy to collaborate with such awesome bloggers and readers and thank you so much for collaborating i'm super happy with this video and do tell me are you happy to watch this video and if you do then do all the things to support this video and to make this video reach to more people have a blast in new year have a have an amazing 2021 and if you want to start something new in 2021 then i'm starting a challenge which is 31 days challenge all the details are on instagram highlights and you can check them and i'll see you guys in next year and just you know grow through books happy reading and make your life the way you want to and so much love and positivity from my side happy reading bye bye